All right, it's, it's uh, good to be back here practicing. A um, little bit different weather, and uh, I think our guys had a good practice today. Uh, need to start a little bit faster, but I thought they were locked in pretty good. So we had a good day. We'll have some meetings tonight, and then uh, we have two tomorrow. Tomorrow's will be the last two that are open to the public, 8.30 and 6. And then we're going to shut it down just because we're going to start to work on Nevada stuff. And uh, so we like to close it up and get all paranoid and stuff <laughs> when we do that. So, uh, far, you know, typical that, coach paranoia. How far is that walk to paranoid for you? Well, uh, it's a pretty quick trip for me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just step over the crack and there I am. <laughs> but it was a good day today. Got some guys back. Uh, Pawasi was back practicing. Um, uh, ben Wysocki was back. Alex Redmond did some stuff on the side. You saw that Ellis is fine. Uh, I thought that um, Simon would be back out here, but he wasn't. Hopefully he's back out here tomorrow. I think he needs to get back out here. Uh, guys that were missing, um, um, Caleb he has the flu. He has the flu. Uh, and then a couple of young men have decided to... Uh, seek uh, employment elsewhere. So TJ Millward has decided that he's going to transfer. He asked for his release. We granted it today and the same with Jeremy Castro. So we're just going to press on and try to get better every day. And uh, it's good to see some guys I hadn't seen in a while. Oa, you see he's out here and, and uh, Marcus Rios and had a talk with Marcus today. And he, he has a feeling that he's going to get cleared here pretty soon to resume activities. You can see that he's still very slight, so he has a long ways to go, but it's good news for him. Uh, you know, we were concerned about him, so that's that's good news. But it was it was a good day. So why what did TJ say is reason? Uh, you know, I, I think it's better if you if you if you can get a hold of him. He just you know, he came in, he asked for his release and he thought he'd be you know, he just didn't feel like this was the place for him right now. And so, you know, I, I want these kids to be happy and successful. And so uh, you know, I, I love TJ. I, I think he's a, a super human being, a fine young man, got a great family, but uh, I want him to be happy. If so he thinks he can be happy, you know, somewhere else, and, and that's fine. Because so Marcus not going to play at all this year. He's just gonna... I don't think he's going to. You know, he's so far away right now, and and uh, the plan is for him to redshirt. He's still got the stint in. They're going to take the stint out here pretty soon. But he's just, you know, he hasn't done anything since really spring. since before the bowl game. So it's been a, no, he didn't do anything in the spring. spring. It's been a long time. Spring. Same with Oa. I mean, Oa hasn't done anything since the bowl game really. Oa's done a little bit more than Marcus, but not a lot. It's Christian Morris. Yeah, I didn't see him. He was out here at the start, and his he started to have some uh, shortness of breath, and so we took him in. Okay. And I don't have a report on him, uh, but he was good all day. I'm not. I'm not sure what happened. Um, so, Aaron Porter. You guys, <laughs> you guys are more into it than me. <laughs> yeah. Or more in tune. Aaron had a, got a concussion, second to last day of practice, and so he's out for a couple of days. But he's doing better. Without TJ, where does that leave your backup quarterback situation? Uh, Jerry, um, we're bringing Jay Call. He'll be in at six o'clock tonight. Um, Asante, and then Mike Faithful. So those five. With his scholarship now being back on the market, are, are you, have you made any decision on if you want to give those to walk-ons or maybe? Most likely. I think there's some kids here that have you know worked their tails off and are deserving. And so we're going to evaluate it and see who those guys are. And I'll feel really good about rewarding those guys. You know, that's how I earned my scholarship when I was in, in college. And so, you know, I always kind of go back to those days and how it felt when Don James called me in in the spring of my freshman year and said, hey, we're putting you on scholarship. You know, it was a good deal. So, um, yeah, I'd like to see some guys that have worked hard here throughout their career rewarded. Do you have a number? Or uh, no, not yet. We haven't even talked about it as a staff other than we've kind of listed the names of guys that we think would be candidates and we're going to go over it in the next couple weeks and decide. So the Roosevelt Davis looks like he's uh, Rosie's a working fool, man. <laughs> yeah, he and Ryan. I mean, he just works. He doesn't say anything. He just goes. He can do so many things. He can play in the slot. He runs down on kicks. He can kick returns. I mean, he's, you know, you love guys like Rosie. Uh, and his brother too. I mean, they're, they're a good young man. You expect Caleb back tomorrow? Yeah. Hopefully. You know, if he had a he had a pretty high fever today, so if his fever breaks, then he should be back out here. Any At least, Any update on? No, just still the concussion. Taking it real slow with him. You know, he's had a couple since he's been here, and uh, you know, I, I don't know that we'll see him this year. You know, we might decide to give him a. You know, he's got a red shirt. He didn't red shirt last year. And, uh, you know, we're still evaluating it. 
and talking to the doctors and talking to his parents and talking to him. But I think what's important is we do the right thing for him for the, the longevity of his career. And if the decision is made that it's better for him to sit and just fully recover, then that's what we're going to do. You know, I mean, I'd love to have him. I think he's a good player. I think he could play on both sides of the ball for us and be good on special teams. But we got to make sure the kid's safe. How do you feel about Eric today, Kendrick's movement? He moved good. He did some seven on seven. He looked good in the in the individual. He was moving well. Uh, you know, I'm still hesitant. Obviously, you know, just a little bit nervous about it. But. Uh, I think the important thing is that he's confident and he seems to be getting more and more confident. And the more bodies he gets around him, you know, so he goes from individual to seven on seven, so now he's got more people and we get him in team, you have to get in some piles and stuff. But you know, like we've said all along, he'll be good to go, uh, barring any unforeseen, you know, activity by the game. It seemed like Vander does was scaled back a little today compared to the end of San Bernardino. Trying to make sure that, you know, we bring him along at the right pace, get him the work that he needs, but not overwork him. Um, I think he's going to be fine. I think he'll contribute right away. You know, I'd be really surprised if he wasn't ready to go for the Nevada game and he would give us quality reps. You know, I'd like to see him get 30, 30 snaps. I don't know if he will, but I think if we can just rotate our defensive line through and keep him fresh, that's the best way for us to have success. So you've seen enough of him yeah. that, <laughs> that he'll get 30 snaps? Yeah, I mean, he's a good player. You know, I can't say that there'll be 30 perfect snaps, but there'll be 30 great snaps for him to learn as we move through the season. I mean, the guy's going to be a great player, so we have to get him on the field. And even if he's a little light in practice, it's important we get him on the field playing because he can he can be a dominant player. Um, you know, same with Kylie. You know, Kylie's a heck of a football player. He kind of goes about it a little bit differently. He's a little bit more quiet. Um, I think the interesting decision we have to make, and, and uh, we talked about it a week or so ago, was uh, Kenny Clark. That guy's a darn good football player, you know, but we have to decide whether or not we can get him enough snaps to warrant him playing this year, you know, um, because Lee's done well and Ellis has done outstanding. So it's, uh, I mean, that's a good problem to have. We're all three really good players. What are your thoughts about going in the closer to the season with Jack and Collins? Playing time? Oh, Richard, man. Or... No, those two, <laughs> those two guys are ball players. I mean, Deion Hollins might have the best get off on our team. You know, he gets down on that left side. Rocket. Yeah, and he really can get off on the snap, which is what we saw on his high school tape. And he's just a natural pass rusher. He doesn't get too deep. Uh, and then Miles Jack, it's just a matter of what we want to do with him. You know, right now, if we had a game today, he'd be our starting dime linebacker. You know, I don't know that he'd be our starting outside linebacker in Oki, but he'd certainly play snaps. You guys saw us have, you know, he's returning kicks. I mean, you know, he can, he's, he can run, he's powerful, he's elusive. He's, he didn't carry the ball a lot in high school, but he was a good high school running back. You know, so, once again, you don't want to, you know, ask me too much. All of a sudden, it's, you know, jack of all trades, master of few or none, and that would be stupid of us, but we're going to try to utilize him. Jayon Brown, I think that he'll contribute right away. I think Thomas Duarte will contribute right away. Caleb will. Kenny Walker's been doing a really good job with, uh, with uh, uh, Simon Wally Pip out. <laughs> I asked him who knew Wally Pip was today, didn't I? I was teasing him. He's good at left tackle. I, I'm just kidding. But uh, Kenny Lacy. Kenny Lacy. Kenny Lacy. Yeah. Did I say Kenny Walker? Walker. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Wow, I mean, he's got I, bigger. I apologize. Yeah, Kenny, he, we left him home. He put on some weight. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, Kenny Lacy has been doing a really nice job with that left guard. We moved X out to left tackle. So uh, I think Isaac will contribute. I think that uh, Cameron Judge has a chance to be a really good special teams player. You know, Tahan made a really nice interception there. Every day he kind of gets a little bit better. He's explosive. He's got, uh, he, he can, he's a good hitter, good tackler. Uh, I like our freshman class, you know. You just got to see over the next few days strategically how we want to work those guys in. How many plays can they play before they lose that red shirt? One. One. Just one play? Is that league or just Unless they get injured, they like, get injured. like uh, Ish did last year. That's why, you know, one of the reasons that uh, Malcolm lost his appeal is he played six plays, I think. It's if yeah. you get hurt in the yeah. first quarter of the season. Is yeah, I think it's the first quarter. And it has to be legitimate, you know, it can't be, you know, made up injury. It has to be legit. Yeah, but, you know, uh, 
I think that these guys want to play. I don't think if you asked any of them if they prefer to play a red shirt, they'd say red shirt. I think they'd say play. And we want to win. And so if they give us the best chance to win, then we're going to play them. You know, that's what we're going to do. You don't know what the future holds with any of these guys in here. So if they can help us win, we got to get them on the field helping us win right now. That's what people want. That's what we want. That's what they want. Have you announced the uh, captains yet? No. No. I know who they are, <laughs> but I haven't announced them. I haven't told the team yet, so I can't tell you yet. I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> Let's tell them tonight. We have our annual talent show tonight, or lack of talent show. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right.